Well, <clears throat> after appraising Jurassic World the game for a very long time, um, and in fact, recently, I not too, well, not too long ago, I made a video saying that this was the best update, or at least the previous one was the best update in the game, hands down. That it changed a lot of uh, the way the battles were, because the battles needed to be re re reworked, or at least um, updated in some kind of way, because they all battles went the same. Um, and they added um, mods, which really helped that. There's also been something else, and that is that they have made books, the, the, the in-game currency basically that you pay for, what you trade your actual real life money for, they've completely changed that. Uh, they've got rid of it basically. If you remember not too long ago, packs were where you could win books. Um, even if, well, here we go, we got some books in there, but that of course is a pack you have to pay for. If we look at packs you can win, of course books packs are gonna have it. Uh, how about this one? There's no books in there, and I could look through other book packs, like Climate Shift Pack, or, you know, other, other card packs. How about the Gold Rewards? No books in there. What about Metrophodon Tournament? Oh, something that's incredibly rare. <laughs> it's something that is very hard to get. Oh, you can get the, uh, the books in there. But mainly normal packs, you don't get books in. Um, and... What they've also done is on the trade harbor, you used to be able to trade three times. You could trade, uh, and you could trade anything. You could trade coin for books, uh, food for books, anything you wanted. And then they reduced it to two when they took all of the books out of the card packs. And now they made the trade, not that I can really check, um, because... Um, I've already used them from last night, and I actually had two that I was able to use last night. Now, according to room, I mean, these trades are only for VIPs anyway, I think. So, you need to be a VIP for it. Now, you can only trade one. You can only trade one, and from what I've seen, you can't trade anything for books. So... They have slowly, like, from, from very far away, they've been just slowly zooming in, zooming in, zooming in, and now you can't get books. They, they, they're closing out all of the ways, all of the options for you to get books. And this has led to loads of people getting frustrated and annoyed for good reason. Uh, in the Facebook group, uh, people are posting long rants about how, the, the, you know, they added something, but then they took something major away from the game. When I went to Ludia's studios, in fact, they told me about Isla Sauna. They were like, because the people who are working on this game, they're passionate. They really like this game, but a decision like this, it doesn't seem like it's coming from them. It's coming from higher up. Obviously, they've got some quota to meet. Maybe, maybe the people are spending on microtransactions as much as they normally are, or have been in the past. And now, they there's somehow the higher ups have said, "Oh, this margin's down. We need to get people to buy more stuff." So, what are they going to do? They're going to stop people from getting books. You want? Oh, and not only that, if you were to put in a triceratops into a hatchery, or if it was to be in a battle and it was under 50 minutes, you could speed it up for free. So let's spend, uh, you know what, no, we'll not do that, hold on. <laughs> I'll show you, I'll show you. We'll get this guy first, we'll get this guy, because that's, that's, that's something decent that they did. Free super DNA if you just play the game and you participate in the battles, that's good. Now, if I was to put, you know, you need to do, uh, need to hatch so many dinosaurs, put in the triceratops, Nah. Can't speed it up now. Can't speed it up. Well, you can, but it's going to cost you bucks. And so, well, no matter what you hatch, you're going to spend bucks on it. And no matter what you have to buy back, even if it's below 50 minutes, you're going to have to uh, spend bucks on that as well. This combined with the fact that books are incredibly hard to come by. I do have a mystery pack here, and there you go. There's some books. It's just... It's so frustrating because if if this game started out with this and you only had one trade that you could do a day and you couldn't trade for books, I mean, that is pretty bad in itself, but it wouldn't be as bad as having three trades to start with and you can trade for books. And it, it's like, if we just look through this, 
Remember, you used to get a certain amount of bucks in a pack, guaranteed 50, 100, whatever it was. Then they they turned it down a little bit. They were like, let's crank that book dial down. Let let's slow the the trickle. Let's slow the trickle of water that's going to them. The book the, from the book well that's coming to play. It's like, let, let's slow that down. Okay, so now instead of, oh, now it's free, is it? Oh, it's free if it's below a minute. That's interesting. So they have kept it, but now it's incredible. Like, there's, there's nothing that you can do instantly anymore. You have to, you have to be there. You have to wait a little bit and then do it. And a, a minute, nothing. Even a Triceratops, it's not instant. I don't understand what. Anyway, um, so that started. They started the, the, they turned the tap a little bit on the book drain, where you, I mean, if you go on a pack, um, you go on this. It says up to. Oh, oh wait, no, does it? Oh no, have they actually, have they actually changed that? Oh, they have. So, oh, as if. The, uh, so it used to say up to 750 bucks, and then you would you would get 749, you'd get 740. So you, it felt like you were getting gypped. It's not up to, it's you'll get very close to, and then you won't get it. So it looks like they've changed that, or at least with these packs. Let's have a look for the packs that you normally win. Nope, yep, it, they, they got rid of that up to. So what they decided to do, instead of turning the tap back on a little bit, they decided to um, turn it back on. At the same time, remove all the water that was in there to begin with. So it doesn't really make much of a difference. <laughs> you can turn the tap all at once. Nothing's gonna come out of it. It's, it's, it's just so frustrating. Because I know the people behind this game, the people who care about it, the, uh, this isn't a decision that they would make. Now, if I want to show you the latest creature that comes out and get it to level 40, I'm gonna have to spend money on it. Because there's no way I'm saving up for the next newest thing and spending, especially when it costs so much. Like, if I go into, I don't know, that one? I, they've still kept the free, I suppose, for that, so they haven't really got rid of it, I suppose. That's alright, but you're you're talking... Hundreds of books. Hundreds and hundreds of books. But the biggest atrocity for this is the VIP. The VIP is virtually pointless. Um, and I'm going to talk about this before we get into the new stuff. Because the new stuff, it seems, is pretty decent. Um, there's, they've, they've addressed some things that people have wanted for a long time. When this game first came out, I was buying all the packs. I was opening everything because it was the done thing. Everybody wanted to see the latest thing. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, and then, as time went on, I, I, I kind of stopped doing that. Uh, and VIP came out as a way to get more stuff in the game. It felt like, oh, you could spend all this money on a pack and get stuff instantly, but then that was it. Money was gone. Or you can do VIP points uh, or enter the VIP, the loyalty um, subscription, and you could get just better stuff in general every day. You will, or every six hours, you will get a VIP mystery pack, which will give you more resources. Um, but even that started changing. When that first came out, solid solid gold packs were a thousand, I think. They were a thousand VIP points. Now they've increased by... They now cost ten times as much, basically, is what I'm trying to say. This cost a thousand, now they cost ten thousand. And at one point they were even more, but then they cut them back. Then they took creatures out of that and put it into this 50,000 pack, which is only exclusive for VIP members. And of course, if you're a loyalty member, you get double the VIP points you get normally from opening packs or doing general things that would reward you with loyalty points. And then you also have your VIP daily missions, which are no different to anything else, but they allow you this this pack. And to be fair, I mean, you're guaranteed 50 bucks, I suppose, but I never do this. Um, I don't have the time of day to not only play games and do the rounds on Jurassic World Alive, record everything, but then go through and three different classes of aquatic creatures, use three different classes of Cenozo creatures, which, you know, it's not too much, and I guess the rewards do make sense, but how could you do three trades now? You could do these trades, can't you? You can do these ones, so I suppose you're gonna, you're gonna take a hit no matter what you do. But this was, the custom trades were the reason why you did VIP points. Back when they started, you could trade 
50 million coin for an Indominus Rex. These were really good trades. It made it worth getting the VIP. Not only were you getting really good things in the solid gold packs uh, at a cheap price, and you were getting, you know, it was every day. It was like, oh, or at least in here, sorry, not in the custom, it was in this one. Every now and again, you get a, a limited loyalty um, trade offer. And in this case, it's 11,000 bucks for Mastodonosaurus? <laughs> <laughs> No, the other way around, yes, that's really good, but no, rubbish. You can go in the custom trade, you can probably trade a Mastodonosaurus, you'll get 200 bucks for it. So that just shows that there's, deliberately in this game there's an imbalance between what you want and what, what you're given. They know what you want and they're deliberately not giving it to you and if you do want it you're gonna have to pay a lump sum or, you know, microtransactions. These have always been there. This is a free app game. It's, it comes with the territory. You play it for free, you know, there's certain features that are maybe locked out that you can't do, but in general, if you want to play, you want to play. It's, it's just been, as time has gone on, it's just, I mean, we've had little ups and downs, ups, it's, it's a roller coaster. Sometimes you get new creatures or there's a new feature implemented, but before you know it, it takes a downward spiral. That, I've always said this, whenever there's a new feature in Jurassic World, the game, a, Abuse it straight away. It doesn't matter if it doesn't seem like a good deal, because it's gonna go. Like with the um, the the battle stage infinites. In fact, that I can't do that anymore because now we've got the the newest things. These, um, which are probably gonna be way easier. Yes, than I've ever faced before. So at least I'm gonna get some new creatures. But in the battle stage infinite, at one point you could refresh it so you could choose the pack you'd win. Even then, it would be a super hard battle, and you'd have to spend bucks to probably buy back your best creatures. But at least. There was something to it. It was pretty good. If you wanted to, you could spend hours just grinding and then you might have to... You know, that feature in itself, Lydia, made people want to buy books because, yes, you are you are spending money, but you're using your books the best you can to the best of your abilities. You could, you could spend books on, I don't know, buying something else, or you can spend money on the pack. But if you translate them into books and you also use your own spare time to play the game then you can unlock creatures unlock better rewards and that's that's your choice you feel like you've made that choice it's not the game going you can't do that and that's the difference between what i choose to do with my money and what and what the game wants me to do and slowly it's just we've just been tunnel visioning into what ludia higher ups want this game to be they don't want you to play it as a certain way. They want you to do it their way. <laughs> and that is, the books take a long time. And you're going to have to grind a lot longer. And it's such a shame. It's such a darn shame. Because the fun I had with this game was calculating how many books... Okay, 40 quid. Let's say we've got 40 quid to spend, right? Do we spend it on a solid gold pack? Or, sorry, legendary pack? Like, remember that episode? Do we spend it on a legendary pack? Or do we translate them to books and buy mystery packs? Let's see what we get. And then it's like, wow, oh yeah, that's awesome. Okay, let's do that. If you're going to spend money, do it this way. Ludia got rid of that. Didn't want you to do it that way. That's not the way they wanted you to play it. How about we refresh the battle stage infinite pack? And, you know, you're spending money if you want to, or if you have the books... Do it that way. Nah, got rid of that. Ludi didn't want you to do that. Made the battles almost impossible. Made the made you not be able to refresh it. Okay, how about right? Let's make let's not spend money. How about we use the custom trade harbor to trade other resources that we've got plenty of for books? Nah, get rid of that. Don't want that either. So, where does this leave us? Where does this leave us? We're we're at a point now where VIP membership is not worth it. I think when you first get VIP membership, you get a legendary pack, you get some DNA. The only thing, really, the, le the VIP membership is worth is the DNA building. And that, to I feel like I'm handcuffed to VIP membership because if I cancel that thing, that thing that took me months and months and months to work towards, I click once and I get, 1,000 DNA. I get, I get 2,000 DNA a day if I was to really do it. That's going to go. And 
It took months and months of work. It's, it's, there's a certain theory out there and it's basically, it's, I'll call it, it's the time sink theory that because I've already spent or you've already spent so much time on a certain anything that leaving it means that you've wasted that time. So let's say you spend, you're waiting, the, you're waiting the bus stop, you wait 10 minutes, the bus doesn't come, but it should come any second. You think, nah, I'll wait. Half an hour goes by. The bus isn't showing any sign of coming. But you think, well, I've already waited 40 minutes. I could have been home by now. If I start walking, the bus is probably going to come and then I've just wasted all my time. So you wait and you keep on waiting and waiting and waiting. And that's what this VIP building is. It's like, well, maybe the VIP membership will get better. Probably won't. And this will, uh, if I leave now, then it might get better. And then I've wasted my VIP building or whatever you want to call it, DNA production level 12. What I'm going to do is... I don't think I could do it exactly in this video, but I will cancel my VIP membership because for me personally, and I know I'm not the only one, VIP membership was a way for me to help this game, to support this game. And it sucks. It sucks because I know I've seen the people that are behind this game. And I know they really genuinely care about it. And I know that this wouldn't have been their decision. I think I've got to. I think I I've come to the point now. I've been through so much years of ups and downs. And for me, just even for not even thinking about who I am, the money, it's not worth it now. I, I did get it to support and I did get it because it there was better features, but those better features are long gone. They're gone. Lydia has decided to show me that they don't want me to keep on supporting their game. Or at least, you know, for this, these changes. It's like one, one step forward, three steps back. They stopped the up to 40 bucks win or whatever and all the resources. Good. Now you can't trade books. Bad. <laughs> like... And it's, it's, it's not just been, it's, it's a combination of a lot of things. And I mean, the lottery, remember when that first started, that was pretty decent. Um, and now 500 bucks for a chance to win 200 DNA, 300 DNA, 5% chance to win 2000 DNA. Even that's not worth it. 500 bucks should get me 10,000 DNA. That's that. And even now it should be 20,000 because books are so rare. A Lyplorodon could barely get you like 2,000 DNA anyway. And that's 1%. You're going to get to... The lottery needs fixing. This thing's okay, I guess. We got the zinc. That, we, we've gone down to zinc. We've went below gold, silver, bronze. We're in zinc now. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to review Isla Sauna in this video. I thought I was, and then I don't feel like I could, I want to separate it in a way because it could be vastly different. Um, one thing I did want to check before I go was just to see the hybrids for the aquatics and the Megalodon hybrid isn't released yet. Well, there you go. So that's going to be tonight's video. It wasn't supposed to be this video. It has to be this video because this has just happened. Th there's memes. I, I was on the Facebook page and, and like even people are pinging me uh, about it. And not even, you know, it, oh, Beaver's gonna end, L you know, Lydia Paul or whatever it's called. But just in general, people are posting pictures like this is ridiculous. Like <laughs> Lydia have tried to get more people to pay money. And instead what's gonna end up happening is they're gonna get less money now because I mean, even if we just look outside the world of Jurassic World, the game, you had, what was it, Crash Bandicoot, the, the latest racing game, just got flooded with microtransactions. Absolutely flooded. And there's a huge backlash on that with a game that didn't need it and already cost money to begin with. This is free, so it kind of gets away with it, but it doesn't because these weren't in it at the start. This is not what I signed up for. And that's, that was always the scary thing when it came to VIP membership. I think I said it at the start when I first did it, that I'm paying money for what I'm getting right now, but that's subject to change. 
that can change at any time. And I think I might have even said it back then. If it becomes, if it gets to a point where it's not worth it, I will cancel. And this is it. Maybe I'll put an image at the end if I can be bothered of me cancelling it if I found it. I, I will do it. Next time you see this, a video, I will... I'm, it might be like, you've got 30 days left or whatever. <laughs> if the battles are anything to go by, when you battle, you have your name and it says if you're a VIP member, nobody has it. And if that, you know, we, I'm pretty sure we know they're not real people. Not even the bots have VIP membership. Not even Ludia grace their own bots to have VIP membership to think, oh, I got beaten by a VIP membership. It's not worth it. And if we quickly go over to Jurassic World Alive for a second, you know, that VIP membership still has benefits. This is the thing. A super DNA, there's no difference between a normal person and a, re a VIP membership. You don't get any more, you don't get double, you don't get anything. So that doesn't affect you. And I, now that I've said that, I wouldn't be surprised if Ludia goes, wait a minute, how about we make super DNA only VIP? That's the next step. That's what's going to happen. If you, it, And I that's right off the top of my head. And I can, I, I've seen the future. That's what's going to happen. Or at least you can only get half the DNA. Or you can get double as VIP. Um, but yeah, that's... I didn't want... <laughs> I didn't want this to happen. When I went to Ludia, they never said anything about taking books out of the card pack. Just just as disclosure. I, I can't say what I was told. Not that any of it applies to this video. Um, or would change my opinion on anything. But they definitely didn't tell me. I can tell you with full confidence. They didn't tell me that, oh, by the way, we're going to make the trade hopper just a one. And you can't, with that one for VIP, you can't even trade books for it. And um, we're going to we're gonna take books out of packs almost completely, only to a certain few. Yeah, I wasn't told that. If I was told that, I would have said, I would have aired my concerns and stated that I don't think that's a, a really great idea to be doing. But this is where we're at now. I don't have anything more to say. Leave in the comments down below what you think. And... Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, or next Jurassic World video. It, next a different video. Something that's different. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed listening to my rant. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.